I'm Jim Barterman from Jackson, Mississippi. In describing the, um, your allocation of capital to your wholly owned subsidiaries, you wrote in the annual report that, quote, you charge managers a high rate for incremental capital they employ and credit them at an equally high rate for capital they release, end quote. How do you determine this high rate and how do they determine how much capital they can release? Well, what we try to do with those arrangements, the questions about, about uh, incentive arrangements we have with managers or, or other uh, situations where we either advance uh, capital to a wholly owned subsidiary or, or, or withdraw it, usually that ties in with the compensation plan. And, and we want our managers to understand uh, just how highly we do value capital. And we feel there's, there's nothing that creates a uh, better understanding than to charge them for it. Uh, so we we have uh, different arrangements. Sometimes it's based a little on the history of the, the company. It may be based a little bit on the industry. Uh, it may be based on interest rates at the time that we first draw it up. We have we have arrangements depending on the uh, on those variables and perhaps some others and perhaps just uh, you know how we felt the day we drew it up that range between 14% and 20% uh, uh, in terms of capital advanced. And sometimes we have an arrangement where if it's a seasonal business where for a few months of the year when they have a seasonal requirement, we give it to them very cheap at LIBOR, but if they use more capital over beyond that, we start saying, well, that's permanent capital, so we charge them considerably more. Now, if we buy a business that's using a couple hundred million of capital, uh, and we work out a bonus arrangement, and the manager figures out a way to do the business with less capital. We may credit him at a very, at a very high rate, uh, same rate we would use in charging him uh, in terms of his bonus arrangement. So, we believe in managers knowing that money costs money, and uh, I would say that just generally my experience. Uh, in business is that uh, um, most managers when using their own money understand that money costs money, but sometimes managers when using other people's money start thinking of it a little bit like uh, free money, and uh, uh, that's a habit we don't want to encourage uh, around Berkshire. Uh, we, by s sticking these rates on capital, we are telling the people who run our business how much capital is worth to us, and uh, I think that's a useful guideline in terms of the decisions they're making, because we don't make very many decisions uh, about our operating business. We make very, very few. I don't see, uh, I don't see capital budgets in most cases from our 100% owned subsidiaries, and if I don't see them, no one else sees them. I mean, it, it, we have no staff at headquarters looking at this kind of thing. We give them great responsibility on them, but we do want them to know how we calibrate uh, the use of capital, and uh, uh, so far, I would say it's 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 really it's really worked uh, quite well. Our managers don't mind being measured, and 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 uh, they like getting. Uh, they, they, I think they I think they enjoy seeing a batting average posted, and and a and a batting average that does not include a cost of capital is a phony batting average. Charlie. Well, I certainly agree. Yeah. <laughs>